Welcome to my channel. I am Michelle and today's animation created in Canva deals with a printer. As you can see, the paper comes down and the print comes out just like a printer. So let's head on over to Canva and I'll show you how I created this effect. So the first thing we need to do is head over to photos and look for a printer. Um, I have the free version, so I don't, and if you see all these, except for like this one right here, pretty much all the printers are either not usable or they're all pro. So what I did is I went over to Pixabay, I put in printer and I wound up using this printer here, which is the Epson. And you can actually send it straight over to Canva, which it'll create its own uh, design for you, or you can download it. So I just sent it over to Canva and it's already got a transparent background. So when you send it over to Canva, it's going to look like this here. So what I did next was download this image. I took it over to my remove BG and I removed this part right here. So when it's complete, this is what it's going to look like. So you just take that lip out. So the next thing you want to do after you have that lip out is you're going to come over and you download it back in. And this is what you have. Um, at this point, I would probably do my background before I did that. And anything you want to do with the background, if you want to put a bunch of things in the background and whatever, and juice your background up, I'm just like randomly thinking stuff. But what I would do is group them together, group them together, and then I would lock them. That way, if you need to, well, let's unlock these, unlock these real quick, uh, move them to the back, and then I would lock them. And that way, if you need to, you start working on your printer and you need to make them your printer bigger or smaller or want to move it into a different position, you don't have to worry about your background getting in your way and doing that. So if you do your background first, then you won't have that problem. So we'll unlock that and we'll trash this group of stuff. Trash, trash, get rid of that. And we're just going to do a blank slate just to show you the process. So what you do now is you have this empty weirdo space right here, right? So what I'm going to do is go over to my elements. I'm going to grab a square. So what I want to do with this square is I want to hide that space. So I'm going to get my square in here. I'm going to kind of line it up, put it here, put it over here, and try to line it up with the bottom edge of my printer, like so. If you want to make it look like it's got a couple little legs, you can bump it up to kind of match that square. That's up to you. And then what I'm going to do is go over to my gradients real quick, and I'm going to go gradient. I'm going to go top to bottom. I want my gray on the top. And I'm going to add some more black to it. So I'm going to bob the black up because I just want a bit of a shade. This this black is not this like the black black. Let's color pick those. There we go. That's a way better. Let's get rid of all these other little goofy ones and then get this good. This a good solid black in here to match it better. There we go. And there you go. And it looks like a little bit of a lip and a little shine coming out of there. So these are going to stay together. So what you want to do now is you want to duplicate this because you need the top piece because you need this part for your paper to come under. So you need to have this one on top. And now we have our little printer thing and we're going to move it over here to the side for the second and we're going to go work on our papers. So there's two ways you can do this. You can grab a frame for your picture or you can just create your own little designs here, grab some text. Let's turn that white, put that down like so, make it look like you get some little thing going on. Let's like ungroup these and just like make that look like like little little resume or something going on. We're just doing something chinchy. And then you can have something like that come out whatever you want to do. If you want to do a picture, you can use a frame, but that's what you want to do for that part. Um, the other thing you want to do is you want to do your top paper. So let's duplicate this and to make your top paper, we're going to go in here and we're going to grab, I'll just grab this for ease. And then we're going to go here. I am going to change the orientation. Um, 
might lighten this up just a smidge just to make it look a little more paperish and you want one like this and then we're going to duplicate this oh and it's going to go over there and then you're going to want to go back into the color to the gradient and you're going to add two more and you're going to take the transparency down on both of these and these are going to be the, your papers that move. You want one in the back that stays in the back always. And you can actually make these shorter so that they don't. So you have room to hide them behind. So when they go down, you want them to be able to hide behind this lip right here. So you don't want them going too far down. But you want a solid one in the back because if you can see the transparency, there's a reason for the transparency. So I'm going to show you on the front why. So when it goes down like so, you don't want it to be able to see at that bottom lip where the other one comes out. So you want that transparency light. So that's where the other paper comes out and you don't see. If you keep it solid and come down, you'll see that come out the bottom. That's not what we want. We want to hide that. So we we'll keep that like that. And then we, when they bring it down like this, you won't see that. So, and then you're going to just make as many copies as you want of how many of those that you want to sit down. If you want to do a whole bunch, if you just want to do one or two, that's up to you. So we're going to take our other one. And we're going to group that together. So now we have our paper and we want to put that above the lip here and hide it behind these. So we're going to take this in the position and we definitely want it behind our stuff. We want it behind here. We want to make sure that that's in front. So we want that behind here and we can test drive it and make sure when it comes out, it's coming out the bottom like we want it. So yes, and you wanna make sure it's hidden behind these. So these are gonna stay on the top and you're gonna put this piece over top. So as you can see here, when you, hold on, don't move, don't move. As you can see, when I grab this first piece of paper and bring it down like so, I can bring it down and it's hidden. And that's where your transparency comes in. You can't see that and it doesn't come out the bottom here. So that's, why are you moving on me? Stop doing that. <laughs> so let's grab that one and bring that one back up. So we're gonna put that one back at the top and we're gonna just do one because you're gonna do the same thing for, well, we'll do two. So I will take this, I will duplicate it and let's change the color on that to uh, blue to make that one look a little bit different than the other one. And we're going to hide that one in the back. That way I can show you how to do more than one. So now, like you said, I, I have it in a, in a weird place. I want to center it up. I can make it small. I can turn it sideways. That's why you want to kind of lock your background. So next, what we do once we have all that set up, you know, everything with this, the setup takes forever. Once you get one set up, good to go. You can do it a million times. It's not going to take you no time to do it after that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go and grab my first page here. I want to hit the animate button. I am going to go create an animation. I'm going to hold the shift key down and I am going to bring this down like so. And then it's going to go in behind that and go all the way down. Then I'm going to adjust my speed. I'm going to always put it steady because I am not steady. And I'm going to adjust my speed to how slow I want my paper to come down to make it kind of look natural. Right? I should have bigger pieces of paper here. but And then when I'm good, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that off. I should have got the papers to match here, but sizing, will. I'll show you that in a second. So I just want to show you the technique. So now what I want to do is I want to go over into position and I want to grab one of my things I want print. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to animate. I'm going to go create animation. I'm going to go hit my shift key and I'm going to bring that down like so and have that come out. These should be, these should be way bigger like so. I'm going to put it on steady. I'm going to get the, the uh, speed that I want. And if you watch them right now, they come down together. We don't want that. So if you want to, just for ease, you can animate the second one. So let's go ahead and go into position. I'm going to grab the next piece of paper. 
go to animate, shift, do the same thing, hold that down like so, go into here, slow my speed down, push steady, push done, go into position, grab this one, go into animate, create animation, shift key, down, come out, like so, steady, get to speed wherever you want it, done, okay. Now, if you watch it, everything's going at one time. We don't want that. So here's the next part of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab one thing, and it doesn't matter what thing, and I'm going to go into show timing. Now, I want to do all my timing. Let's let's do it the easy way. Let's go into position. We know we did this one first, so this is the first one we want to go. So we want to show our printer we want this to go. So you're going to have to take your timeline and expand it out now you can, because you need to do this a whole bunch of to do this. So we're going to expand our first piece of paper and make it go down. So I'm going to watch it till it goes all the way down to where I want it. And when it hits, I'm going to hit that pause button. Now the first one that came out was our gray one. So what I want to do now is click the gray one and take it to that piece right there where I stopped. And I usually leave a hair of a gap because you know when you print it stops and you hear it all grinding and all. And then I'm going to stop it there. Then I'm going to hit my next piece of paper. Hold on. Let me see where I was at. I lost my mojo there for a minute. So we want that one to come out. Let me see where I'm at. I lost my mojo there for a second. All right. We got one coming down. We got the blue one coming down. I don't want the blue one coming down yet. So I'm going to grab the blue one and have that coming down. Let's watch. Brown's coming out. We need that down here. So let's go grab our paper, our second paper. And we want that coming down after that one comes out. And then I want my paper to start a hair after that. So start there. I am going to watch. And when my paper gets down to the bottom, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get grab my per my blue one and then I'm going to have that paper start here where I want it to and then I am going to pull it out and that's just a technique to do that it's just the easiest way to do it once you find one go hit the next one and then do the timing on it and when you stop where you see where it stops here or where it stops here and you want to grab the next one it's already automatically stopped in that place there and then just go hit the next one and then move your time accordingly is the best process for that. So if we watch what we have, we have the paper going down and then we have the paper coming out. And then once that comes out, you look up top and the next one's gonna start coming down. And then once that gets in there, the next one will come out. Oh, you know what I did? I did them in the wrong order. So you always wanna do the order. So you'd want to do the blue one first. You want to, for this, you want to go bottoms up. So when you do them, you go bottoms up. So if you have five pictures here, go bottom, then the next one, that's way, that way they'll fall on top of each other. So you want to go for paper, you want to go top. You want to go hit the first one, then the second one, then the third one for the photos or for the, uh, Whatever you're going to use for that, you want to go from the bottom. So your blue one would be your first one. Your gray one would be your second one. If this is another photo one, that would be your third. And you go from the top. That way they'll layer on top of each other. See, I did that one. I did that one a little wrong, but that's how you do that process. And the other thing is, is I could have made these bigger. So in, let's just do, let's do the high timing thing real quick. And when I'm, when I'm trying to design stuff and I want to change something in it or I'm looking around and want to test drive something different, I just, what I do is I duplicate because I don't want to lose my original thing that I was doing. So the other thing is you could just take these and make them bigger. You want to kind of size them up to that hole. And then you would take like these 
and make them the same size. So when they came out, where's my bottom lip on that? Oh, because they're un ungroup it? Will it give me my bottom? There it goes. So, and then you kind of make it like that. Come on. So then you, your paper, you want it to fit in that hole like a piece of paper. And that's just, you, I should have done that first. That should have been my first thing is make them to fit that hole right there. And then you can see that kind of fits and looks better. And I can grab this. I can maybe grab this front right here. Maybe not. And bring that over. But that's, that's that part. Sorry, guys. I do get kind of messed up every once in a while. Forgive me. Everything's a learning curve, and hey, I'm not going to hide mistakes from you. But that's how you do that. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to me. You know how I am. I love you guys, and, you know, I don't mind helping you guys out. You know, hit me up on Facebook. Um, my link is on my uh, page. So if you want to head on over to my, my channel page, you, my Facebook link is there, and you can hit me up in my DMs and uh, ask me questions and if you got problems we can work through it together and this ends this very long and draggy tutorial and i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one bye y'all